All right, everyone. We are going live right now and welcome into Facts Not Feelings. We're mixing it up a little bit this week. So normally every Friday, this is pre-recorded and we're bringing on a guest and my microphone, the joys are going live, right? Microphone just went uh, flying right there. It was great. Fantastic. Uh, this week, we ended up having a little bit of a scheduling conflict. And so I just said, hey, you know, what? let's just go live this week and see how it turns out. So Welcome in everyone. And for those uh, hopefully joining here, uh, you can catch us live or if I, uh, you know, it's gonna be there later on too as well. So if you catch us live, great, fantastic. Let me know if you are, drop a comment in, let me know that you're watching this and yeah, happy to have everyone in right now. Thanks for joining and yeah, let's kick it off here. So like I said, normally uh, going through this is already usually pre-recorded going live mixing up a little bit up this week uh with facts not feelings friday and uh we had a little bit of a scheduling uh, uh it happens you know like i said we roll it we roll it we're pretty easy going here and anyone that knows me i'm pretty easy going so like i said we're just uh mixing up a little bit here so this week there's been a lot going on and uh, not just in, in the world and everything yesterday in Chicago, man, it was like 55 mile an hour winds. And, and if anyone's curious, it takes about three power surges uh, when you're on a Zoom and then your power dies and it kicks you off of your nice little Zoom call and you lose everything. It's fantastic. So that's what happens here. It, there's been like power outages and everything. So hopefully everyone else out there, hope you're staying safe. Hope everything's going well and you guys are doing okay. So hope everything's going all right there couple things I want to hit on this week uh, and today is as a woman in our industry and as a uh, owner, um, just want to say awesome job for anybody else out there that's an entrepreneur and doing what you do. You know, that's great and fantastic, uh, especially right now. And everyone knows that I'm obviously a sports buff and a little bit more than that. There has been two women and they're not just the only ones you go going, going back to the Marlins. Marlins hired the first GM. Um, Back in front, I think it was back in, what was it, 2000, I think it was 2020, the Marlins hired Kim. And then this past week, San Francisco Giants and then the uh, New York Yankees affiliate hired uh, women as well. And with the San Francisco Giants, the their uh, manager was thrown out and she came in and was first base coach. And then with the Yankees, uh, their Rachel it, uh, is with the affiliates, the lower A. And so I just love seeing all this. And then to couple all that, I, the reason I'm bringing all this up is uh, on today, not just to happen this week, is today is Jackie Robinson Day. And I love uh, being a baseball buff or in sports buff in general. Um, I just think that we have to constantly be evolving and what Jackie Robinson did, not just for the sport, but for the world. And that we constantly need to be embracing one another and to, as you all know, I always sign off with, Hey, you know, what can we do to help, you know, look to serve. And it's just amazing. So, um, I just love seeing all these things and seeing everyone, uh, you know, you know, barriers being broken. Uh, it's just, it's, it's absolutely incredible. So, uh, yeah, it's just, it's been a really, it's pretty, pretty cool week this week, seeing all these different things happen and, and the uh, culmination of Jackie Robinson day, uh, and, everything that he for he stands and what he did for the world and what he did not just for the sport um but for everything so um for anyone that doesn't know uh i my prior life was uh, in athletics uh, not just athletics uh, sports medicine athletic training in the medical field and going into this whole thing is that i was told very early on that i was trying to decide like out of college what i was going to do and I had a, you know, I was looking to go design shoes for Nike and I was like, oh, okay, maybe, you know, I want my goal. What I would really want to do is either become an um, orthopedic surgeon or to dream, dream job would have been, Hey, I want to go work for a uh, professional sports team. And it was made very abundantly clear that as a female, that will never happen. There is no way in hell that as a female, you will ever, ever work uh, with a professional sports team as a female. And so I love seeing all this happen now because I was told very early on that there's that that's never, ever going to happen. Uh, in fact, I even was looking at, I lived, I grew up on the West coast. I've lived a lot of places, but uh, I was born on the West coast and I was looking at a, um, a, a team in, on the West coast. And, uh, it was made a very abundantly clear that just, mm -mm. if you're, your, your talents and your skills, yes, you are hundred percent equipped 
but that's just not going to happen because we cannot have a female in the middle locker room. So I absolutely love seeing all this about the uh, females right now, just kicking ass. I love seeing this. It's so awesome. And this has absolutely nothing to do with the auto industry. I completely understand that. I just, uh, as today happens to be, like I said, Jackie Robinson day and just breaking so many, breaking the color barrier. I just love seeing all these different things. So we're, I know that, like I said, this has nothing to do with the auto industry. Just when you're told something, hey, it's not possible. You can't do it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. I mean, I went from being that to going to the car industry, which is any female in the, in the, in the car industry is a very male-dominated industry. Keep, keep, keep it up. And even if you're a, a male in the, in the car industry or, you know, you're whatever, just continue to do what you're doing. Um, and I just want to, I guess, more than anything on, the, on this episode, just to let you all know that continue what you're doing. Don't, don't lose sight of the bigger goal. Um, sometimes it's really, really difficult on what you're doing and you're, you know, it's, it's tough. Just continue to, to press forward and, and don't lose sight of the bigger goal and be discouraged by someone telling you, you can't do something. And, uh, yeah, I, like I said, that's just normally we talk about all the other stuff. And I just thought that today that would, we'd kind of go a little different route today on, on that, because I just think it's a little bit maybe more, I won't say it's more important, but it's just a little bit different track on where we're going today. So yeah, uh, next week we've got, uh, we'll be back on schedule, a regular schedule program on what we're doing um, and back on back on everything. We'll have our, our scheduled guests. And so you guys won't have to keep seeing my face and only my face on Friday. So we'll have our other guests back on our, our amazing, our amazing uh, our guests and everything on that. So Thank you, everyone. We'll keep this short and brief and just thanks for everything. Thanks for always being a part of this. And if you're like, as always, if you're liking the content, if you're finding value of this, comment, share, like the show. And as always, if there's someone that you're seeing that needs a helping hand or you think you can help out in any ways, please just reach out. You, you never know, as I've said before, if someone, a kind smile may just make someone's day. So, so be there for them. Um, just be that, be the joy in someone's life. And with that, everyone have a wonderful weekend, have a great Easter, and we will see you all next week and have a safe and wonderful weekend. Thank you as always. Mm-hmm.